Okay guys, so uh, welcome to another video. Today is gonna be a video response to a video request, which is very interesting to me and to a lot of you, especially when we're talking about these older Canon EOS cameras, especially the beginner ones that are like this one here. There is no way to record because this one doesn't have recording uh, options at all. As you see here, it doesn't have it either here or nowhere. So basically, it does not record natively from inside. And uh, just let me turn back on. So yes, it works. The camera is on right now. Let me turn back off. So how do we connect it? A lot of people resort to the so-called EOS utility, as you see right here. And uh, let me connect what utility really does, which I'm not a really big fan to let you know right now. It has the uh, live view and all that, but it doesn't do a great job. And when you plug it in, you have these controls here that you can go to uh, remote shooting, which that's what we're trying to reach here, right? And at remote shooting, yes, you have the live view shoot but with no real way to connect it you you can connect it i guess to uh obs in some way and i don't know why it's doing that kind of stuff right now let me just refocus this one here as you see right now it's supposed to be good and working and all that stuff but here by itself you cannot really record yes you can add to obs and cut this part of the screen and all that and most of the time it comes out really not that good. It, it doesn't do a great job. As you see, the camera itself actually works really good. Let me just zoom in this one here. And yeah, that's actually a great job. So this is one of the solutions. And yes, you can do it and all that stuff. You can take pictures right here. But we are not interested in that. We're interested in video. So let me close this one up. Let me disconnect the camera right here. And from here, we are going to go to a website right here uh, at SourceForge. There's a file that you need to download for now. I think they have a version for uh, Mac OS as well, but I'm not sure. Don't count me on that. But if I'm not wrong, they have a version for Mac. Right now, I'm going to do it on PC. I'm going to hit download on this one, and you'll see why I'm saying that this micro app here is way better than the EOS utility. Click yes, click next, 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 create desktop icon, click install, and you can click launch if you want. After it's all installed and good, when you first plug in the camera to the PC, it might try to kick in the uh, Canon, Canon uh, utilities or whatever you wanna call that. And if that's the case, just go here and uh, right click on it and exit if it kicks that up. Put the camera on the creative mode usually on the p right here it works best in my uh case at least that i've tried and let's open the app the app it kicked it right away but if it doesn't kick it right away when it's all said and done you see this little usb logo here click that so it will get the camera uh going so after that you are good to go as you see right here we are uh running at 21.8 frames per second you can open this as much as you want but usually you don't need to and in right here you can change the modes for example let's see auto depth right here and we go to auto depth in this side and now we are in auto depth and right here you can just uh, start recording right away you can click here right but first let's put a folder for it and uh i'm just gonna leave it out video as it is and i'm gonna leave it on desktop it will uh record in avi or avi click right and right now you are recording by the way as you see let me just turn the camera around you can focus and do all that good stuff we could go to the ridge again as i see focus and defocus and it works like a charm now how would i do it with this app since it's easier than the tool that comes with uh, canon well let me put this down for now we are let me put it on that samsung i, I don't know why i like that okay now let me stop the recording okay the recording is stopped and uh, here's the video that we just recorded yes it it's not gonna have uh audio 
because these cameras don't have audio on them so don't expect audio with this camera that's not gonna happen and uh, here's the footage that we just uh, filmed with this camera it's actually pretty good because my lighting here is not extremely perfect but it's doable and now let me take this out leave this window open as you see it right here and let's take obs here this is obs and in obs add a new scene and i'm gonna put it just uh canon okay and at the scene add a source and go to window capture and i'm just gonna put eos okay and when you're happy with this one take the capture cursor out click okay and here when you're inside obs it works with all obs versions hold the alt key alt on your keyboard alt key and move these lines as you see right here you can crop inside just like that and this is really good as you see i'm gonna try to open it to here i'm gonna crop some from above and some from the lower side and let's see how it looks in the end right here and as you see this video right now is being recorded with this uh cannon as you see let me just zoom in focus on the buttons let me focus on the motorola itself as you see yep it's working you can switch lenses you can put other lenses you can change the colors and all that you can you can just play with it as much as you like or want here we go that samsung usb and yes for example i could use it to put it uh right here and uh film things for example for my uh youtube channel as you see the camera works really good my hand is shaking but the camera is not shaking <laughs> so just bear with that part as you see it's actually really good and imagine now if i had good lighting on this one how much clearer would it be and yes another thing i want to tell you before we get lost from here right now is that when you're on obs recording with this camera to in order to keep this camera on you have to disable the uh auto sleep mode or whatever you call that on settings inside the camera and the other thing that you may want to do is that you want to buy one of those uh, dummy batteries whatever you call that stuff it's it's a battery just like the battery that goes in your camera but has a charger here the battery itself is a dummy so it has a charger here so you can keep the camera on for the whole time because unfortunately these cameras don't have a charger and while it's connected with the USB, it does not charge the camera. So just to make sure that the camera doesn't die, you might want to do just that. And the link for this app, EOS Camera Movie Record, will be linked on the description, as I said again, uh, right here. You just download it, install it, and do all that good stuff. And uh, let me repeat it again before I go. If you connect the camera after you exit if you have the eos utility and you exit it and the camera is not connected and it says you know not connected or not supported with a red line on the bottom and you're connected with usb just hit this usb logo right here on this corner hit this logo here and it will initiate the camera and make sure your camera is in one of these modes here as you see right here it's only in these modes and not in this uh, green one which is the auto thing but from p tv avm and adp or depth and whatever those names are and with that said i hope you learned something from this video and we will see you next time just go find your old eos by the way i bought this one for 15 bucks so it was a flea market find and it works it works that's all i care and yes it works for most of the eos canon cameras for most of them i tried three of them and it worked just perfect and yes this camera again is just the regular rebel xs not the i or anything else just the regular rebel xs without video mode and we will see you next time please hit like and subscribe bye